Are you thinking about a through hike on the Appalachian Trail, but you're not sure if you're quite ready yet? In this video, we're gonna take a look at eight must-see locations along the Appalachian Trail. Before we get started, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more of our videos. The entire Appalachian Trail is very long. It could take months to through hike the entire trail. In your haste to finish the journey, you might miss some of the best vistas and terrains that the Appalachian Trail offers. Here are eight of the spots along the Appalachian Trail that you don't want to miss. These are also good trails to hike if you think you can't finish the entire trail, or you just have an afternoon or a couple of days to delight in a wild journey. These are the most beautiful and exciting paths for you to take a look at. Number one, Iron Mountain Gap to Cross Mountain, Tennessee. It's 17 miles long. This is a good overnight trip. This section of the Appalachian Trail careens through a wild Cherokee National Forest. It is where you'll find an apple orchard near Weedy Gap. You may stay at the Roan High Knob Shelter, the highest elevation shelter on the Appalachian Trail. Number two, Mau Har Loop, Virginia. It's also another good overnight trip at 14 miles. This is the ideal area for an overnight hike in the Appalachian Trail. It's got 40 foot waterfalls with swimming holes and plenty of scenic views. The hike can be a bit challenging, but hikers can pass through beautiful landscapes and vistas in the Three Ridges Wilderness, Hanging Rock Vista on Bee Mountain, Chimney Rock Vista on Three Ridges Mountain, and the Flat Rock Vista. Number three, Max Patch Bald, North Carolina. This portion of the Appalachian Trail offers great views of Mount Mitchell to the east and the Great Smoky Mountains to the west. After your hike, you can swing down to the town of Hot Springs for a dip in the naturally occurring springs. This is a 20 mile hike, another good overnight option. Number four, Taconic Highlands, Massachusetts. This one is 16 miles one way, so you may plan on two days for this one. This stretch of the Appalachian Trail from Salisbury to Jug End and winds through an old growth forest by waterfalls and over Mount Everett. You can camp at one of the eight designated shelters or camping areas. Number five, Carver's Gap to US 19 East, North Carolina. This is a popular section of the Appalachian Trail that traverses the Yellow Mountains, Hump Mountain, and the entire eastern portion of the Rhone Mountains. This section can be a tough hike, but you will be rewarded with spectacular views. Plan on an overnight for this one as well. It's about 17 miles one way. Number six, Nantahala Mountains, North Carolina. This portion of the Appalachian Trail features some of the best fire tire views in the east. It also remains to be one of the more solitary expeditions Blanketing the crest of the Nantahala Range and Kawi Ranges is the Southern Nantahala Wilderness, which can also offer other amazing side trails for shorter trips, like a 4.1 mile Low Ridge Trail or the eight mile Big Indian Loop. If you plan on doing the Nantahala Mountains in North Carolina, plan on about three days. This trail is 30 miles one way. Number seven, best 30 of the 100 mile wilderness. Maine. This is a 30 mile trail as well, so plan on about three days for this one too. The Appalachian Trail has an esteemed 100 mile wilderness which starts in Munson in Maine. It's the longest stretch that doesn't cross a paved road. In the first 30 miles, you can find the 60 foot Lower Wilson Falls, sugar maple forests, rocky rivers, and gorgeous panoramic views of the barren chairback range. You can also choose from one of the four shelters and numerous campsites available for an overnight stay. Last but not least, number eight, Great Smoky Mountains Traverse, Tennessee to North Carolina border, 72 miles. This one may take you about a week, so make sure you have plenty of time if you're gonna take this one on. This is the king of the Appalachian Trail hikes in North Carolina. It's a lung buster to get to the ridge but you will be rewarded with breathtaking views from the Rocky Top, Charlie's Bunyan, and many other peaks along the hike. You'll also get to experience 
Klingman's Dome, the highest point on the entire Appalachian Trail at 6,643 feet. Those are some of the best sections of the Appalachian Trail that you can't miss. Have you tried hiking the Appalachian Trail or are you still planning to do it one day? Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Click the notification bell or you'll experience a very stormy night on your next camping trip. Please check out our other videos.